Hi, um, my talk is a brief overview of JavaScript, uh, sorry, JavaScript promises. Um, I have been in web development for six months, so be kind, don't ask any difficult questions. <laughs> um, before that, I was a designer for 10 years and I run Dublin UX. Um, although available through libraries like Q and Bluebird, promises not be, have not been native to JavaScript until the ES6 or ES2015. Promises aim to provide a, clear, a cleaner, more intuitive way of dealing with the completion or failure of asynchronous tasks. A promise represents the eventual results of an operation, typically of an asynchronous operation like Ajax requests. So they are more or less cross-browser cross compatible apart from IE. I should have got the IE thing to come up really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but you can use libraries, um, there's many libraries to use to support in IE and Opera Mini is also using supported. There's four states of a promise, uh, pending, fulfilled, rejected, there's also settled which some people seem to ignore. So pending is before it's, um, before it ha has started, uh, fulfilled is, means it's successful and rejected means that it's failed. Okay, so here's how to, I have noticed that my code is very much like a designer rather than a developer. <laughs> so really pretty. Uh, so use the let uh, statement to name the promises and new to instantiate a new promise. And the promise takes two arguments, resolve and reject. So within the function we do something and then we call resolve um, and pass in some information or data. Then this is called by using the dot then method. Sorry, the dot then method is for if something's resolved. If it's not resolved, we use the dot patch method. Sorry, I don't go too fast with this. Um, a promise cannot change. So here we set a timeout, a set timeout thing, a sorry method. And the top one has a delay of a second. The second one has a half a second. So the reject will happen, but the resolve will never happen because once it has been, once it has set a state, it cannot be changed after that. The dot all method, there's a static method uh, called dot all, which takes an array of promises. It will wait until all the promises are resolved before running the dot then method, which returns another promise. If one of the promises is rejected, the dot that then method will not be called. So all of them have to be resolved before the dot that then method is called. Um, sorry, I skipped one there. Uh, the dot race method is similar, except only one of the promises has to be resolved before the dot then method is. Promises can be called in chain, meaning asynchronous operations can be called in a certain order, ensuring that the previous operation has completely has completed successfully before the next one is called. And finally, uh, why should you use promises? Um, promises mean you can call asynchronous operations and treat them as synchronous operations. You can do stuff like set timeout functions and nest them inside promises to delay operations. Uh, promises involve er sorry, improve error handling using catch method to deal with rejected cases only. Promises represent a value that is promised and once resolved will always result in the same value. And the code is easy to read and easy to understand. Thank you.